I'm on my way to see a robot system that's looking to bring security into the 21st century. Just like Robocop, except without all the violence. And I'm at the University of Pennsylvania where the Penn Engineering Department has developed robots that not only work autonomously, they communicate with each other. First though, welcome to Silicon Valley in San Francisco. It's home to the world's biggest tech firms and hundreds of tiny startups, including Nightscape. Their big idea is an autonomous robot that can work as a security guard, as Stacy explained. So this is the Nightscope K5. Yes. What is it about? Why did you come up with it? Nightscope K5 is a security robot. It's meant to roam around within a geofenced area looking for anything out of the ordinary. So uh, the, the long-term goal is to be able to reduce crime by 50%. Okay. This huge claim is certainly backed up with plenty of tech. The K5 has 360 degree cameras with number plate recognition, GPS, ultrasonic sensors to stop it bumping into things, and it can laser map its environment. Meanwhile, I was at Pennsylvania University, which counts Tesla founder Elon Musk as a graduate, to see how autonomous robots are being taken to the next level. Dr. Kumar was a robotics and cybernetics advisor to the White House and is now working on a new breed of autonomous flying robots. When you say autonomous, yes. so none of these need human controlling, they just work with each other, is that right? Right, so all of them carry onboard computers and depending on which kind of a robot you're looking at, they'll carry different types of sensors. So for instance, uh, this um, robot here uh, just carries an off-the-shelf uh, smartphone. Okay. So this smartphone actually does have sensors on it. You notice it has cameras. Mm -hmm. It does have a processor on board, which is the phone itself. So using information that it sees through onboard sensors, it can understand where it is in the environment and navigate in the environment. In Silicon Valley, Stacy was showing me the control center of the Nightscope K5 security robot. What type of things then are the K5s scanning for? They're looking for anomalies, so things that are out of the ordinary. Uh, for example, uh, if you're in a shopping center and normally there's nobody there between 11.30 at night and yes. 6 a.m. in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, if all of a sudden we have an object detection in that area, it's going to say, hey, this is not right, and it'll send us an alert. Alerts and events show up here on this side of the screen. Right now, you can see we're all clear, so we don't have any uh, events going on. Yep. It sounded very convincing, but I wanted to see what the K5 would do if it sensed some bad behavior. So I snuck outside. Now, this might look ridiculous, but the K5 was tracking me wherever I went and recording footage which could be passed on to the authorities. And when I blocked one of its cameras, it sounded an alarm to scare me away and alerted Stacy to my misdemeanor. Back at the University of Pennsylvania, students Justin and Mickey were setting up a demo of their swarm drones. All right, I think I'm ready to see them go. All right, let's do it. These autonomous robots are aware of each other and work as a team. They're all controlled by computer software, which after takeoff runs without any human input. Wait, you're not doing anything. No, I'm not doing anything. No, I, I, I told them to go and that was it. The computer monitors the drone's positions to the nearest millimeter by tracking how the red lights bounce off tiny reflectors on each drone. In the real world, the drones could be fitted with sonar or GPS to do the same job. So why don't you grab the robot by the battery? Just grab it? Yep, just grab it, the safe, and pull it out of the formation. Ooh. So this is like if a, if a robot were to have a low battery, for example. These drones have all been programmed to surround a central point in the room. When one is removed, they automatically reconfigure to do the job in the most efficient way possible. In a group of three, they know a triangle is the best formation, but when back as a four, they form a square. They're shifting to still survey the same spot on the ground. So whether it's security or warfare, autonomous robots are getting smarter by the second. And you didn't do anything. Humans did not do anything. 
this week, an exclusive first glimpse of the future of transport. Plus, we built a personal computer. The Polaroid camera caused a massive stir when it was first launched in the 40s. Dr Edwin Land, already a well-known inventor and